Hello friends, welcome back. Today I'm gonna to be repotting some house plants. Some of them are new and some of them are old, but they all need to be put in a bigger pot. So that's what we're gonna be talking about. I'm gonna show you how to transplant them. I'm sure a lot of you already know how, but for those that don't, we're gonna talk about that today. What size is the best size to upsize to? And what to do if it needs to be repotted and you don't have a bigger pot? We're gonna talk about all of those things today, so let's go ahead and get started. The first and biggest plant that I'm gonna be transplanting is this. It's very wilty. I just watered it, it's gonna perk back up. I have to water it very, very often because it needs to be put in a bigger pot. So that's a good way for you telling you it needs to be transplanted is if you happen to water it a lot, more than normal. This is a pathos and it shouldn't have to be watered that often. They're really resilient. So this is a 10 inch pot and I actually have another 10 inch pot. So I'm gonna keep it in the same size pot and all I've done is I've put just a little bit of dirt in the bottom, not much at all. So we're gonna take the plant out of this pot. So this had hangers on it, little hanging things. I just cut them or you can unclip them. They're pretty easy to unclip. So, and if there's any dead leaves, just pull those off. So I'm actually going to carefully loosen up the sides of the pot. Put my hand in there in the center to kind of hold on to it. Can you see there? Kind of hard to tell with all the leaves. And then I'm gonna pull it out. So I'm gonna take this off. That's just because it's root bound. And it's actually, it's not bad. This isn't bad. So I'm just gonna loosen these up just a little bit and see what I've got here. Bring over my other pot. And I'm gonna kind of pull these, this dirt up on the sides. So what, what you wanna do is you're gonna take a knife, because this is going in the same size pot, I'm gonna carefully cut the roots on the sides. Not a whole lot, but just some. And I'm not gonna actually do it all the way around, but in just some places. This is actually gonna loosen everything up too. Okay. Then you can cut about, about an inch off of the sides and the bottom. Now I'm not gonna cut any off the bottom um, because I don't feel like, I feel like this is deeper than the pot that it was in. Just wanna set it in there. Then I'm just gonna start filling in on the sides. Okay, now that I've got it fully in its new pot, it's not looking too good, I'm gonna go ahead and water it really good and make sure that there are no air pockets. I wanna make sure that the dirt, that it's got plenty of dirt all the way down the sides of the pot because if it has any air pockets, it's gonna kill the roots. So that's really your only concern right there. This one was pretty. I got it at Walmart. It's ceramic, pretty, 
sprayer plant. It's pretty dry. It dries out really quick and that's because it is in, it's outgrown its pot. I'm gonna loosen up all the dirt around it. I don't care for just potting soil. I like it to be mixed with garden soil. It's gonna fit in there, no problem. Okay, so the reason I say that it's gonna fit in there just fine is because the pot that I've taken it out of is the same size as the pot that I'm putting it in, the new one but loosening up the roots, loosen up that old dirt that was on there is gonna give those roots a chance to grow and get a lot more nutrients out of the new dirt in the new pot. So you do wanna make sure, you wanna kinda of press the dirt in, but you wanna make sure that there's room on the top. You don't want the dirt to go all the way to the top you want to have like a little bit of space there. That way when you water, the water isn't going to just run over the side. So this is another pot that I got at Walmart. I think these are so pretty and very affordable. This is also a six inch. So you can see that that's a, a, you know, a big difference. This one has a lot more height to it, even though it's six inch, it's still you know, a little bit little bit different. A little bit of dirt in the bottom. So I'm actually, I got my, this rosemary at the grocery store. And I'm just gonna pop it in here. It is really root bound. So I'm gonna go ahead and take my knife and just kind of break it up. It's not gonna kill the plant. If you don't feel comfortable with that, you can cut it this way. But my purpose in this is because it's so, it's just it has so many roots. It's so extremely root bound. That's gonna give it a chance to spread out in the new dirt. I'm going to cut about that much off of the bottom. Put it in here. Make it backfill. don't want to plant it any deeper than its root ball was. There we go. So when I water it, I'll clean the pot off as well. I'm going to add this beautiful, beautiful, brightly variegated, tropical. Break up the, pull off any dead leaves up the bottom. This one will look so pretty in that marble. So this is a plastic and I had another plant come in it. I'm just gonna go ahead and use it because I like, I like how it looks. So I think I'm gonna plant this little pathos in here. Just the right upgrade for it. So you know, this one really stuck in there pretty good. So this one, I've actually pulled a lot of the dirt out so it can fit it into a shorter pot like that as well. And I'm just gonna backfill. So 
So with this plant, if you accidentally break off a stem or a leaf or something, you can actually stick it in a glass of water and it'll grow roots and then you can plant it, start a whole new plant, or you can use those little starts to fill in plants that have gotten a little sparse looking. You just kind of plant them in your, your older pots and it just fills them in a little better. There we go. So because this hole is a little bit bigger because it's a clay pot, I'm gonna actually dig out a rock and put it in there. And I'm just gonna put just a dusting of dirt in the bottom. I have this six inch piece lily and it's actually starting to get some blossoms on it. But even though this is a six inch, I feel like it's, uh, it's really a tight fit. So I'm gonna break it up. Cause it, like I said, it's a, gonna be a tight fit. This is one of those plants too, that because it's flowering, you don't want to go up to a really big size. Um, if you plant it up in a bigger size, just go up one size for a flowering plant um, because a lot of these type of plants need to be root bound before they're flower. I know that sounds a little strange, but um, it's better to just go up one size, especially for a flowering plant and putting new dirt around it. That's gonna be a huge boost to it. It's gonna pull out a lot more nutrients and just a very happy plant. So there we go. Okay, so for my last one here, it's actually two. I got these at Ikea and I believe they were 99 cents a piece. So I'm actually gonna put both of them in one pot. So one of them was really pretty root bound and the other one wasn't. So I'm just gonna put them both in here, just like that. Kind of mesh them together. So this is, you know, a, obviously a preference. If you feel like that they would look better separately and you then you have two plants, then by all means do that. I just feel like it would look better with both of them together. It's gonna to be a lot more of an impact when it gets a little bigger. So I just think it looks nice with both of them in one pot, but that's just a preference. So, so now that my plants have been put in bigger pots or have been altered to fit in the same size pot but had the roots altered they're gonna really take off and if you want to keep your plants really full and really pretty you know especially like the pathos you want the plant to stay really full just go up one size or if you like the size that it is just trim off some of the roots like we talked about and 